Hi there, this is question 7 from a test that I gave to my year 12 further mathematicians um, which was covering calculus at C1 and C2 for Ed Excel. This question was the last question and um, I'm just going to go through how to go about this one. Uh, it basically gives you a formula connecting the cost uh, of diesel for a lorry and um, how fast it's going. Um, and what we need to do is do a few things. We need to find the speed at which the cost will be a minimum verify the minimum and then calculate that minimum very relevant in these times of rising fuel prices so now you've had a chance to look at the question let's go through some of the methods you want to do i suggest you might want to pause this video and have a go and see if you're right to begin with for part a it wants to find the value of c where uh, of v sorry where c is a minimum for c to be a minimum then the rate of change of the cost with respect to the speed has got to be zero. Essentially, if you imagine a graph of it, it would be the minimum point would be where the gradient is zero. So that's what we're going to find. First of all, I'm going to rewrite the cost in a form that we can easily differentiate. And that means I have to change it from over V to V to minus one. And I'm just going to change very slightly to write as two sevenths V rather two V over seven. They're exactly the same, but it just clarifies things a little bit in terms of differentiation. So if we then differentiate, uh, multiply by the power, so we get minus one times 1400, and the power goes down by one. And if we differentiate the second term, it just leaves us with a constant. Now, to find out where it's a minimum, we're going to have to make it equal to zero. So zero is equal to, and I'm going to change the uh, first term so it's over v squared now, and that's plus two sevenths. If I just add on this term to both sides, we can rearrange it into this form. And by multiplying both sides by v squared and both sides by seven, um, and then dividing it by 2, what you should come out with is that essentially v squared is equal to 4,900. Feel free to pause, take a few steps and figure out why. Um, and therefore, v is going to be 70 or minus 70. Now, considering v is a speed in kilometers per hour, v has got to be greater than 0, therefore v is 70. Moving quickly on to part b, um, it says find the second derivative. So first of all, if we just remind ourselves of uh, our first derivative is this. The second derivative means differentiate it again. And if we do that, same process, multiply by the power, which will make it a positive and double it, and power goes down by one, this constant differentiates away, and that means we get 2800 over v cubed. Now it says verify it's a minimum. If it is a minimum, then when we put our value of v of 70 from pi a into this, we should get a positive answer out. A positive answer from the second derivative indicates a minimum. So let's find out. If we do that calculation, you shouldn't need me to tell you that that's going to be a positive. Therefore, it's a minimum. Um, finally, for part C, calculate the minimum cost. Well, we've got the formula. And we just need to put 70 in there which means that we end up with well, 20 plus 20, 40. So minimum cost is 40 quid.